not associated with that one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. But you definitely are associated with hex comics, right? <laughs> That's right. So yeah. um, let's go into that. I, and and I want to I want to say I wish I could have made it the last couple of years. I really and uh, yeah, that would have been great. I just couldn't do it. And I next year I, I really hope to make it. PulseCon will be my first conference, just hanging out with people from the community if all goes well. Uh, but I just couldn't make it to the last two. But they were well organized. I watched them online, and you did an excellent job with them. But yeah, can you kind of tell us like how how it happened like gonna give us the nuts and bolts like how do you even create a conference like that how do you organize and how, how did it come to be and, and all those things of course yeah um and so the number one principle that i learned when i got into streaming was cross promotion that when mm -hmm. i promote other people and they you know mutually promote me that's the best way we can grow as a community it's filling the world with positivity and you know if until you get infiltrated by bad actors, then like that works out really well. And so mm -hmm. in the early days of Hex, you know, it, it, I kind of like came in at just the right time because I didn't mm -hmm. even know about the community for the first six months. <laughs> and that's when oh, all wow. like the, that's when all like the scam stuff was being built on Hex, like uh, all the, con the uh, what Trevon's contracts, that are like mm. the least scammy thing that was built. And then like the most scammy thing was like shrimp farming and, and it, all these forks of hex that didn't work out and that sort of thing. So like, mm. anyway, I didn't know about all that. And <laughs> um, so I just, I, I came in, um, I wanted to spread the message of mental health and uh, hex because I, I, I had studied crypto for years and not really had people to talk with or uh, talk to about it. And so with the help of Hexologist and Discourse Syndicate and uh, like 40 other streamers, I was able to organize a, the first online Hex conference. And that was on January 6th through 9th of 2020. And it was, uh, it was a huge success. Richard Hart uh, agreed to speak at it. He ended up bragging for quite some time after that, that you know he didn't have anything to do with organizing it. And it was... Uh, completely community driven. And so that really mm -hmm. instilled something in me going forward that, you know, I would try to be a net positive for the community and, um, but not like, not ask permission from Richard to do things um, it, because there is a lot of credibility in the fact that our community is independent yeah. in a lot of you ways. Do the work, as he says. Yeah. 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 Uh, we do the work. And so, um, you know, the first text conference, it was, it was an amazing opportunity to to showcase the power of how united the community was and coming out of that then i had already experienced like all these different people and could tell who i worked well with and that mm -hmm. led to the forming of quant gang which yeah. was a show that lasted for over a year and uh you know it became like <laughs> a huge staple in most people's week like on tuesday nights we would go for three to five hours sometimes longer sometimes oh. six or eight hours uh, with whales only and kareem and myself and and sometimes future us sometimes other guests but it was uh it, you know that was a really amazing time and then i decided because of my my research background and I, i've presented at conferences all over the world then i decided to do a, a the first in-person event would be a meetup that we did last year at the end of June in Las Vegas. Kareem and I rode a tank. We smashed a car with, with a oh, tank at Battlefield awesome. Vegas with a big hex fly, uh, flag flying. It was, it was 110 degrees. My uh, brand new iPhone like practically melted to where it stopped recording uh, live on YouTube and stuff. So uh, it was like, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. We had 369 people pay $69 to come to this like multi-day meetup. Um, and that, that, so that was super encouraging. And then uh, coming out of that in the fall, Crypto Sparbach did a 40 US city tour of the United States doing hex workshops in every city. And I heavily mm -hmm. cross promoted with them. I ended up buying the hex DeLorean in September. Nice. And uh, you know, that's, a symbol of paying your future self, which is what you do when you time lock hex. And then um, I did the online hex conference again for the second year on the same dates in 2020. 
two. Okay. So the first one was at the beginning of 2021. And then the second one was uh, here, January 6th through 9th, 2022. That had like over a, like a hundred channels participated. <laughs> um, wow. And then we did the in-person conference in Las Vegas where we had, uh, because there were some problems with, uh, um, that I won't go into, it, it was going to be a much bigger event, but it ended up being really successful having about 600 people there. It was only $369 for a four day event with merch and lunch served, um, at, uh, and having an AV team and everything. So I, I made no profit and uh, saved people. Uh, it, it went to an extreme amount of effort to save everybody every dollar they could so that they could sacrifice for uh, pulse chain and pulse X. Cause every dollar you save somebody, my thinking was they could get a 10,000 X. I like that. Uh, every dollar you save is, is, is $10,000 for it potentially. Uh, I like that. Um, and, uh, so now the next thing on the horizon is nobody knows when I might have a huge announcement about uh, an in-person event uh, coming up, but we'll, uh, you know, we'll wait until that's a reality before we announce that. But the, the thing that I can tell you now is that we're coming up very soon on the online Pulse Conference, the first ever that I'll be hosting yeah. here in the middle of July. And Richard Hart has again agreed to speak at that along with a, a ton of other people that um that i'm really looking forward to having so that'll be july 14th through 16th mm -hmm. which is the one year anniversary of the pulse chain sacrifice oh the date we we are conflicted to get to <laughs> <laughs> yes that so so just to be clear there so there's two pulse conferences one happening in september which is the one i'm most most aware of until now and there's and then you're doing an online pulse conference in july is that correct that's right. It'll be the awesome. 14th through the 16th on my YouTube channel. Um, YouTube.com slash Matty all in M A T I. That's awesome. Oh, good to know. I, I totally somehow missed that. Um, hey, I, I, I think I the community. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of waiting uh, for Pulse Chain to come out to like really hit the marketing hard with like all the amazing guests I have lined up. And now it's just like, uh, okay, well, we're going to do it anyway. It's the one year anniversary of the pulse chain yeah. sacrifice. People have made hundreds and hundreds of hours of content uh, explaining what pulse chain and pulse X are. We have the test net available. So th this online conference will go on no matter what the status is of pulse chain. That's awesome. No, I, I'm down more conferences, the better. I think they really <laughs> help to put, well, first, the cross collaboration too, just the aspects of like bringing other people into the conference that aren't in the hex, they're in other communities, kind of like you know how Richards watches and Louis Vuitton and all this stuff. That's what I, that's what I like about conferences. It can bring uh, you know I've showed up at conferences before, you know, unrelated to hex and, and pulse and things, and there's people there that are completely different industries. And I'm just my first thought is like, why why are you here? But not in a way like not in an uninviting way, just like how did you find out about this completely different industry, completely different topic, all this stuff. And a lot of times it's, Oh, I have a friend that's into it or, Oh, I, you know, I saw it online or I was in town for it. So that's a really good way to bring more people in that have yeah. nothing to do with crypto or, or hex or anything and show them what the community is about by producing such good content. 